a military luminary's evolution. Paul Hauser, also known as Paul for post-war, left an indelible mark as a German general and a prominent commander in the Waffen-SS, born on the 7th of October, 1880 in Brandenburg and Der Havel, his journey unfolded against the backdrop of significant historical events. Early Military Pursuits Hauser commenced his military career in 1892, joining the army and graduating from a cadet academy in 1899. His World War I service in the German General Staff and on the Eastern Front propelled him to the rank of Major by 1918. Retaining his post-war role in the Reich Swedja, he ascended to the rank of Oberst by 1927. Transition to the SS In 1932, Hauser retired from the Reich Swedja and transitioned to the SS, initially joining the right-wing veterans organization Der Stahlhelm. Subsequently, he became part of the SS Verfügungstrupp, SS Dispositional Troops, in 1934 and assumed a pivotal role in the SS Junkerschule Bad Tolls in 1936. Wartime Contributions Hauser's wartime contributions were substantial. He played a crucial role in the formation of the Waffen-SS and, as its commander, led troops in pivotal battles like the Third Battle of Kharkov, the Battle of Kursk, and the Normandy Campaign. Despite being a high-ranking Waffen-SS officer, Hauser, unlike his contemporaries, had a background as a trained staff officer before joining the SS. Post-war advocacy Post-war, Hauser took on a different mantle as the founding member and spokesperson of HIAG, a lobby group and veterans organization founded in 1951 by former high-ranking Waffen-SS personnel. HIAG aimed at the restoration of legal and economic rights for the Waffen-SS through a multifaceted propaganda campaign. Shaping Perceptions, the HIAG Era Under Hauser's leadership, HIAG embarked on reshaping the image of the Waffen-SS. Propagating the idea of the Waffen-SS as a pan-European force that fought honorably, HIAG aimed to distance the organization from war crimes and Nazi atrocities. However, these ahistorical notions have been discredited by subsequent historians. Military and SS Career Hauser's military and SS career spanned significant ranks and decorations. From his early promotions in the German general staff to his later leadership in the Waffen-SS, he left an enduring legacy. Despite severe injuries during the war, including the loss of an eye, Hauser continued to command SS Panzer Corps and later Army Group Oberheim. Post-war activities In the post-war landscape, Hauser collaborated with the U.S. Army Historical Division, contributing to operational studies on World War II. His involvement in HIAG marked a pivotal post-war chapter, advocating for the Waffen-SS and attempting to reshape historical narratives. Legacy and Controversy Hauser's two books, Waffen-SS im Einsatz, 1953, and Soldaten Y. Ander Orch, 1966, presented a perspective emphasizing the Waffen-SS military role. However, these works, along with those by other HIAG members, have been criticized as apologist literature, attempting to portray Waffen-SS members as victims and misunderstood heroes. Historical Revisionism and Criticisms In the mid-1950s, under Hauser's guidance, HIAG pursued a position separating the Waffen-SS from other SS formations, fostering a narrative of an apolitical, elite, and innocent force. Historians, however, have dismissed these claims, labeling them as extravagant fantasies about the Waffen-SS past. The Lasting Impact Hauser's influence extended beyond his death in 1972. HIAG continued its historical representation of the Waffen-SS, facing criticism for its revisionist stance. Despite efforts to establish the Waffen-SS as a separate entity, historical assessments persist, questioning the accuracy of Haig's claims. Enduring Questions Hauser's legacy raises enduring questions about historical narratives, rehabilitation efforts, and the ethical dimensions of advocacy for controversial military organizations. As time progresses, the complex interplay between historical reality and narrative construction remains a topic of scrutiny for scholars and, 
enthusiasts alike. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and share it. Your support is greatly appreciated, and you can find details on how to support my channels through PayPal and Patreon in the description box below.